Hello everyone, it's Eric from Stanford University, and this is a very brief introduction to this series on the approach to symptoms. In each video, I'll be covering the approach to one symptom. For example, the approach to acute cough, or lightheadedness, or abdominal pain. The learning objectives for each video will be the same. After watching each, you should be able to list both the common and the dangerous diagnoses that can potentially cause each symptom, and you should be able to develop a basic diagnostic plan for an individual patient presenting with a symptom, which is balanced between being rapid, low risk, and cost effective. The primary audience for these videos are medical, PA, and nursing students who are going through a clinical reasoning curriculum. However, students in clerkships, as well as interns and other healthcare professionals in training will find them helpful as well. The videos will all have a similar format. They will start with one or two relevant terms and definitions. This will be followed by a discussion of a diagnostic framework for that symptom. A diagnostic framework is a list of diagnoses which can explain the presence of a specific symptom, physical exam finding, or diagnostic test abnormality, which has been organized into discrete categories. Most commonly, diagnostic frameworks are based on organ system. For example, the causes of chest pain can be categorized into those which originate in the heart versus the lungs versus the GI tract, etc. However, for some symptoms, alternative organizational schemes might be more appropriate, such as those based on pathophysiologic mechanisms, which works well for lower extremity edema, or on anatomic region, as one commonly sees with the division of abdominal pain based upon regions of the abdomen. Diagnostic frameworks help us to remember diagnoses which we should be considering in a patient, which may or may not eventually make their way into the more focused patient-specific differential diagnosis. As a general rule, diagnostic frameworks should be relatively comprehensive, but for the purposes of this particular video series, I'll keep them limited to including only those diagnoses which are either common in practice, commonly tested, or particularly dangerous if missed. After presenting a diagnostic framework for a symptom, each video will then move on to a diagnostic algorithm. This algorithm will be the practical approach to making the correct diagnosis in a patient presenting with that symptom. Next may come a few additional clinical pearls regarding diagnostic strategy, and I'll end each video with a summary of the three or four major takeaway points. Unlike other similar resources you might encounter on the web or in the library, the approaches I present here will represent how clinicians think about these problems in real life. These approaches are informed by textbooks, clinical practice guidelines, and the primary literature, but they also incorporate my experience and observations as a hospitalist. Since they are presented at the level of a healthcare professional in training, the algorithms will cover most, but not every conceivable situation. So I'm not going to mention particularly esoteric diseases, and if a certain diagnostic test is rarely performed in practice, I'm not going to talk about it irrespective of how classic it might be or its historical importance. My goal in these videos is to be accurate, practical, and relatively concise. I hope you find them to be helpful.